Hi everybody, Carrie Gallagher here. Today I have three really easy tips to keep kids learning, even in these last really hot days of school. So I teach in New England and we go until the end of June, even though we don't have air conditioning. And today is a tough one because it's 90 degrees and humid. So here are some ways that I'm trying to keep my kids' attention even though the conditions are pretty tough. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, so the first one is simulations, something that we've been doing the past um, couple of weeks is simulations of historical events or historical concepts. For instance, simulations of sharecropping using candy and they get pretty upset when they lose their candy and they see it as an unfair situation. So that's a really good example. But if you don't teach history, you could certainly do simulations of events in literature or um, simulations of situations where a specific type of math is used in real life so that they are getting a chance to get up, move around, and really experience it as what they're learning. Um, you can have them come up with simulations of concepts and run the simulations for each other too. I found that that gets the whole class up and moving and I get to step back and kind of enjoy the show. So that's my first tip. The second tip is games. Use Kahoot. Make QR code scavenger hunts. Get them excited, make it a competition, um, and they'll be completely engaged. Kahoot has been a favorite the past couple of weeks around here, and we had um, a couple of QR code scavenger hunts that were within the classroom or even just down the hall um, today, and, and kids were thankful. Even though they were hot and they were up and moving in the heat, they enjoyed it anyway. And they um, you know, had smiles on their faces. So the last tip, tip three, is to get them invested. Um, something that I've been doing now that it's late in the year, and I've really established my standards for assessment and they know exactly what's going on, I have them create their own assessments for themselves. They have to learn the material, but they're excited that they're going to get to create their assessment because they think that that means they're guaranteed to get a good grade on it. And then, um, you know, I have to approve the assessment to make sure it kind of meets our standards. But since we know each other really well, it's a great way for them to feel like they have a lot of control over their, um, their education and their grades. So three tips for keeping kids motivated in the dog days of summer if you're still in school like I am until late June. Number one, simulations. Get them to act out historical situations, books, or, you know, real life situations where they might use um, the math that they're learning. Yeah, I definitely already mentioned Kahoot. That's my second tip for sure is games. Um, using Kahoot or QR code scavenger hunts so that it's a little bit of a competition and they're having so much fun. And the third tip is get them invested by letting them create their own assessments. So, yep, we definitely have extreme weather in the Northeast and we pay for it, but uh, those are three ways you can keep kids invested anyway. Kahoot is with a K, K-A-H-O, OT for those of you who are interested. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.